Hey y'all, Mikey from Rock and K, and we have been busy doing all kinds of stuff, and now we really got to clean up. So we have to get these fields in order. We got to get the firewood taken care of. So off we go. So, little sneak peek, that's what I did last week, and this week will be spent out on the fields. I have to get them cleaned up. I have to fix where I get stuck. Well, I didn't get stuck, but I almost did, and then I have to, all that firewood I, I did, I have to get that moved, so that's what this kind of week is going to be. Mama's off in uh, Italy. She's enjoying some free time right now but then school is in starting Monday so um, she flew in a couple of days early because that was the only time she could get a flight and so she's got a couple of down days in Italy I'm here left unsupervised so yeah uh, let's go get to work yeah this is just beat up so, I made a pass through here once already. You can see here, the roller on the back is smoothing it out. So, let's see if we can straighten this all out. All right, folks. So, it looks like we got this field fixed. So, still a little ruddy, but a way, 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 way better. Let me flip you around. So, you can see when we started cutting, it was uh, way too soft down here, but the roller has been able to smooth out most of the ruts, and I chopped up all the grass that we weren't able to, to bale because we weren't even able to rake it because it was um, too wet down here. Today's the first day that I even chanced coming down here, and we're like two weeks later. But it's fixed, and now... I just want to church up around a cherry tree. I'll show you right. That cherry tree right there. You can see around the bottom is kind of nasty. So I want to clean that up really quick. And then, uh, as you can hear, church bells are going. So, 6.30. Uh, I got to put this thing up. So, we'll be back. All right, so now that we got the field cleaned up, and let me flip you around. So this had all hay that was just too wet, molding, and all that. And, well, you saw what I did with the corner down there. But this is all cleaned up. Hopefully we'll get a, another good growth. You can see the green coming through. Um, I did kind of trash this field. Um, it's unfortunate, but it'll grow back. But now I got all the firewood that I've been working on. Still got a big pile of firewood. I got to get the firewood that I already have bundled up, organized, and get a lot of this stuff all cleaned up. So we have 40 some odd bales of firewood, some up there, some over there, some way out over there. And now I got to do something with it, right? We got to get it off the ground. We got to keep it dry and get it organized. So I have... A bunch of these pallets now I was giving it thought and I'm like okay I could go buy steel I can elevate it up I can do this or that and then I'm like you know what I have these pallets and you know why not put them to use it'll let me get it somewhat organized and yeah it's it's free for this year then I can work. I can work my solution later. Um, whether I'm going to put it on steel, whether I'm going to put it on um, wood uh, beams or whatever, uh, I kind of would like to put it in the same spot that I'm going to put it now. Um, but overall, we'll see. 
you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking about putting it in a different location because it just makes more sense. And the plan is to have a chicken coop up there, right there. And then we can just kind of fence this off for the chickens. So if I put firewood there, we're gonna run into a problem, right? But I can put it all along that fence. And that kind of makes sense. Um, it's, it's a better idea and it's probably going to be a little easier because it's more level, but we'll see what mama thinks when she comes home from, from Italy. Um, she's spoken about about where she thinks the firewood should go and how it should go and stuff like that but i think i think this is a better option right here along this fence because it's a little more level and then i can approach it from this side stack them all up you know all down along the fence um and this is a real hard area when it comes to uh wanting to do hay and stuff because it's all downhill so if I'm coming up this hill bailing and then I have to eject the bail, I have to turn and eject the bail. Otherwise, the bail wants to roll all the way down the field. So I think, I think that's a better spot. So I got to get those pallets, get started getting them over there, and get all this wood moved. So let's do this. All right, we did a little bit of cleanup work along the fence. We used the uh, the push along weed whacker thing. It uses like weed whacker strength. And we cleaned a little path here. Um, I do have the mulcher, and the plan is later to make sure that we keep every, all the fence lines, all that thing run down. But we let it go too far this time around. Uh, plus, I didn't have the mulcher. Uh, the mulcher took more than two months to show up. Um, seems everybody wants them. But we got the fence line, at least on this side. We got it cleared off. And now I'll start with those pallets right here at the last post. And try to keep them somewhat level. I have all the, all the pavers that we pulled up in the front. And the plan will be start here at this post and just keep working our way over till we run out of wood we run out of room uh, I think I think we're gonna run out of wood I hope so time to move some pallets so we got uh, some pallets in the in their place I left a little end there so I could clean up with uh, the mulcher and then I also left a path behind so I could go in with the, the weed whacker and keep the grass off of the the stuff so we got what one two three four five pallets set up and now I'm just gonna start trying to stack the wood on it and you can see there's uh, the pavers underneath to keep them up out of the dirt and off, off the off the grass so that, I don't know, maybe it'll last a, a year or two without the pallets rot down. So, now I gotta move some, some firewood. And uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, y'all, so we got everything done for the day. The lawn for the doggies is all mowed, looks good. We got all that firewood stacked. And you can hear in the distance the church bells. So it is 6.30. We got a bunch done. Checked on the garden. We got everything's coming along. Everything's looking pretty good. The carrots are actually starting to come up. Maybe they'll take this time. The birds took them all last time. So, But that firewood, man, 
we got it all stacked and so the ones that were on this beam they're gone and now I can get to the gravel this is what's left of all those pallets so not much we're gonna have to burn I was thinking about whipping around the pit and burning tonight we got flip you around we got this all mowed up got the firewood out of there and put all that firewood over there that is a lot of firewood folks and it's only like half of what was delivered yeah I'm gonna need to figure out where to store the rest but I'm gonna put this one in the can get it edited up get it out to you I do have other video that I need to get to you of course when we did all the the hang and stuff I got to show you the equipment I got to show you all that stuff it was it was uh, yeah it was an adventure uh, it was a learning experience um, I'm not a farmer well I guess you can call me a farmer now because I've bailed my hay um, so but I am going to close this one out so if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button click that notification bell click that like every uh, subscriber gives me a little more encouragement to keep this thing going and if you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the what's up or the WhatsApp. You know you'd like to hear from them too. And until the next installment, Avita Zane. Mm -hmm.